praise to the Son of God, Yahweh Shai. That's the ancient Hebrew name of Jesus. That people call around, you know, around the world, they believe his name is Jesus, or Jesus in the Latin. They ignorantly call him that. But we call him Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because that's the ancient name. We call upon the ancient name of God. And we're spreading it around the world that's happening right now. And uh, we also want to give honors to the apostles who tie in all these holy scriptures together. The apostles of Great Millstone. But we're in the, we're going to go into the holy book of Revelations. And we're, and we're on the series of, of unemployment has stopped. People are getting evicted here in America. We're in September of 2021. A lot of things are just happening. The Ida just hit a week ago. There's uh, been floods that hit from the, the south all the way to the east coast. People who were flooded in their basements, drowned. A lot of things are happening around the world. Earthquakes. I mean, a lot of things are just happening. Can't, I can't even keep up with all the stuff that's happening around the world right now. But America, we're, America is facing dark times. We're facing the times of famine and war. World War III. We're in World War III. The proxy wars are happening right now with the United States and Russia, and it's about to pop off in China, out there in the South China Sea, and, uh, over Taiwan, and then with the Russians over there in the Eastern Europe, with the Ukraine. So there's a lot of things happening, and you know, right there in the Middle East, you've seen all what happened in Afghanistan. It was a, a total uh, chaos that happened over there, and how we left with the Taliban. The government has a black eye right now because no one can trust this country. No one can trust this government, especially our so-called allies. They're seeing now, and even Chinese, the Chinese president, he, he put that out there saying, you, uh, telling Taiwan, you can't trust the United States. You see, they just left with the tail between their legs, tucked in their legs, and left the Afghanistan and left the people that helped and just left them to be slaughtered. ISIS and all those other creeps that are over there. The Taliban, Taliban, or whatever you want to call those creeps. All those, uh, or, uh, all these uh, terrorist organizations that run through the Middle East, they're taking over the whole Middle East. Russia and Iran, they're right there. You know, like I said, it's gonna get messy out there. Then we left billions of dollars of planes, helicopters, tanks, trucks, guns and ammo. Billions and billions of dollars. And now our enemies have it. So today's 9-11 too. So it's, it's just crazy how they're bringing that remembrance, the remembrance of 9-11. And you have so-called Osama bin Laden and these, these terrorist groups that so-called knocked down those twin towers down. But now we're friends with the Taliban and, and trying to direct them to fight ISIS. So it's, it's beyond crazy. The times that we're living in is nuts. It's totally crazy. We're in this time where great famine's coming and this country, is, Wall Street is about to collapse. But you're not gonna see that in the news. They're lying to you, saying everything's great. Keep on putting your money in stocks, keep your money in Wall Street, and they're lying to you. But we're gonna bring out the scriptures and let you know we're gonna let the Most High, His Holy Word, speak. This is Revelations chapter 18, and verse 5. For her sins have reached to heaven, and Yahweh has remembered her iniquities. That's right. The sins have reached to heaven. And there's so many things that are happening here in the United States. I gotta watch what I say because they strike the videos. I gotta watch the words come out of my mouth. But you see what happens here in the United States. They break all the laws here, okay? And uh, you, you took the holy book out of the schools. You took the holy book out of, out of the workplace. And uh, this is what's happening. So I'm gonna go into the holy book. This is the Apocrypha. And you'll find the Apocrypha and the 1611 holy book and you also find the apocrypha and a lot of catholic bibles so a lot of
how to use our new to the channels. And you don't know what the pocket cut, do a little research, find a, a, a 1611. And there's some others out there, other books out there that have the, the apocrypha, you can just buy the book. They have them separately, but most of them are they're with the holy book. So this is the second Ezra. Let's see what chapter I'm in. Chapter 6, verse 8. Verse said, He answered, The interval will be no longer than that between Abraham and Abraham. He was the grandfather of both Jacob and Esau. And Jacob are the 12 tribes of Israel, which are the Native Americans and the Negroes of the, of the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And then Esau is the so-called Europeans and Americans of Europe, or the Edomites. But you had Jake that went from Spain, Portugal, and Ireland, and Scotland. So you have a lot of people in Europe and here in America that have the seed of uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But Esau, they're the ones, Esau and Amalek, their grandson, are the so-called Zionists of, uh, of Israel. And the Edomites are the ones that run the U.S. government, your Congress, your Senate. Those are the Edomites who've been oppressing the 12 tribes of Israel. So he says right here, the grandfather of both Jacob and Esau. And when they were, were, were born, Jacob was holding Esau's heel. Esau represents the end of this age. And we're at the end of this age. Esau, the Most High, gave him the power to rule the world. And he gave him the sword, which was the U.S. military might. And they've been ruling the world and putting the world in check, all the nations. But we're at the end here. All the nations now want a piece of this devil. Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and the whole Middle East, they want a piece. They're no longer scared of the U.S. military. So Jacob was, Jacob was holding Esau's heel. Verse 9, Esau represents the end of this age. And Jacob represents the beginning of the new age. So if Jacob's hand is the beginning and Esau's hill is the end, do not try to find a space in between. And that's talking about, we're at the end here. Esau, America is on its way out. That's the end of the world, the end of this age. Where nuclear war is coming, you know, we're in the middle of World War III right now proxy wars are happening but it's going to be a full out war and all you guys better go get your diapers on because you're going to be shitting your pants when this finally hits the fan and you start seeing planes and ships and short range missiles and you see the draft happening here in the United States and total chaos is coming to America. So Esau is the end of the age and Jacob is the beginning. What does he mean by Jacob is the beginning? Because the brothers, starting with the apostles, the prophets, and the servants of God, they're the beginning of the world. God is going to save his elect. He's going to pick them up in the chariots. The so-called, what you guys call them, UFOs, unident unidentified flying objects. We call them the chariots of God, which are all over the whole book. We're going to get picked up and then we're going to watch America get used to kingdom come. I got this right here. This is uh, 2nd Ezra verse 9. Chapter 9 verse 2. Where he says, This is the signs of the end. And you will know that the time has come when God Most High will bring judgment on the whole world he has created. Verse 3. There will be earthquakes, national rebellions, international intrigues unstable leaders and confused rulers when you see these things happening you will know that they are what God most high has spoken about since the beginning of creation and that's the times that we're living in here. in right now is chaos anarchy when people have lost millions of people have lost that unemployment that free money that free paper money which I call it a monopoly 
family money. They're no longer going to be able to pay their uh, mortgages. They're not going to be able to pay for their condos, their apartments. They're not going to be able to buy food. And then the jobs, most of the jobs that are out there are low paying minimum wage jobs. And they're part time. They say, the government tries to push it that everything's going great, we're roaring, like the 1920s, everything's great. No, it's not great. We're living in, in uh, we're living in some very scary times. And then with the evictions, people are getting evicted all over the United States. Do you think the government's gonna help? No, they set this all up. Man, they, it was a beautiful thing how they set this up. Because they want total destruction. They want, they're bringing the pain on the people. The big squeeze is going to happen to everybody. And a lot of you people that have jobs, you're fortunate to have a job. But soon you're going to start losing hours. You're going to start going from 60, 50, 40 hours a week. They're going to start dropping it down to 30 hours, 20 hours. And you know what's going on in the world right now. Most of you are just going to lose your jobs. That's it. It's going to improve in that scripture. And Ecclesiastes, where the jobs are going to grind low. And that... We're, we're in that time right now. There was another scripture that I wanted to bring out. Did that something? Jeremiah 14 and 12. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offerings and an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will curse them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. That's happening now, right now, around the world. Because people refuse to obey the law, statutes, and commandments of this holy book. This is Second Ezra, but another one I want to read, chapter 9, verse 11. And it will include all those who scorned my law during the time they were free to do so, and all those who refused to repent when they still had the chance. And that's a beautiful scripture. Everybody's been doing their own thing. The only people that read this holy book are God's elect. Not those fake people in those churches, starting with that Roman Catholic Church and those uh, Pentecostals and those Baptists and all them so-called Christian stations and churches that you see on TV. Those are all fake. Islam, uh, Buddha, all those gods are fake. There's only one real God in, these, in this holy book. And we're out here in the streets and we're pushing them on videos and it's going to the four corners of the world. His name is, his, the Most High's name is Yahweh. That's the Most High, and His Holy Son is Yahweh Shai, the Son of God, who you guys call Jesus Christ. Call, ignorantly call Him Jesus Christ, because He's been brainwashed in the schools and these fake churches, because they don't want you to know the, the ancient name. But whoever calls upon that ancient name will be saved. But that's why bad things are happening now, because everybody's been doing their own thing. And they've been oppressing us, starting with the apostles, the prophets, and the servants of God who are quit pushing the word of this holy book, who push the word of God to the four corners of the earth. But people didn't want, they didn't hearken unto this word. So that's why he says, it will include all those who scorn my law, statutes, and commandments of this holy book. People have scorned it and laughed. But now they see since uh, starting in uh, 2020, the Most High kicked a lot of you people off. Well, he actually kicked everybody off the high horse. Because everybody had their, their head in the clouds and were filled with pride and had all kinds of plans for the future. But the Most High disrupted that. Where he also says, he said, uh, you were free to do so. And all those who refused to repent when they still had time they still had time, still had the chance. You have limited, we're on barely, we're at the end here. That's why we're making these videos. You do still have time to repent, but most of you will refuse it. And chaos and judgment is coming upon this earth. The torment they will have to suffer after death will force them to recognize the truth. And that's happening right now, what's going on around the world. When death comes to its door, to your door, to your family, that's when most of you will want to know this truth. That's why more, more and more people are going on to these channels and they're to listen, they know they're 
something definitely wrong with what's going on around this world. It's unstable. Therefore, I'm just going to stop right there because it goes into Ezra. We got another one. So back in the Revelation chapter 18, and, uh, verse 7, it says, In the measure that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, in the same measure, give her torment and sorrow. For she says in her heart, I sit as a queen, and am no widow, and will not see sorrow. Therefore, her plagues will come in one day death and mourning and famine and she will be utterly burned with fire for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges her that's right and that's coming that's coming because America is a prostitute who sits on the beast the beast is Europe the EU NATO that's that old Roman Empire America is a new Roman Empire and she's a prostitute Wall Street the Federal Reserve this whole US government is a, is a is a whore, a whore who sits on the beach. She's a great prostitute, and she and the, our government, starting with those uh, our senators, these governors and mayors around the United States, they're filled with pride, and they they and they sit high on their throne, and they look down on us that have to read, who read the holy book, and they and they look up to the sky and they say, and they're so filled with pride they're saying who's going to bring us down we're never going to see no sorrow we're going to keep on making that paper money where our u.s military is going to go around the world and beat everybody down like they've been doing the last hundred years anybody that doesn't go on board don't, don't go with the program of the united states program we destroy them we created all the wars when wars make money for the elites, the U.S. bankers, the world bankers, they're all controlled by those Amalaks, the grandson of Esau. Those are the children of Satan. They're demons, and that's in Revelations 2 and 9, and Revelations 3 and 9. He could, you want to bring that out, or you got another scripture? Because Revelations 2 and 9 and 3 and 9, it breaks down who the, de who the children of the devil are are in these days that we're living in and those people that say that they're from the tribe of judah those are they're the fakes they're they're they stole the land of israel because they know that's the apple of the most high's eye they know that it belongs to us the tribes starting with the uh, the tribe of judah all the way down to israel those are the, the tribes of israel we're going to go back to that holy land after the most high it's Russia to nuke the land of Israel, the kingdom come. It needs to be purged before we go back. Because we're, Yahweh Shai, his son, the Holy Son, he's the groom, and we're the bride. We're Mary, the brothers, Akim, the Hebrew, the brothers. We're married unto the Son of the Most High. And he, we're going into the land that needs to be purged, and we're going to rebuild the holy city in gold and every beautiful rock and all the beauty that God has created. We're going to build that city. It's going to be just a beautiful place. And that's, that's our hope and that's our faith that the Most High comes quickly and destroys this place. Okay? Revelations 2 and 9. I know your words, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. Those are those Zionists, those are those Zionists that are in Israel and here in the United States who control the United States, that control the Federal Reserve, who control the banks. They're the, uh, the powerful banking families. They're the ones that change the laws. They control your politicians, your senators, and your Congress, and your governors and mayors. They're paid prostitutes. They pay them with that paper money to change the laws, to oppress us. Go on, start putting the talk again. So he, said, he said he knows we're in poverty. We're in poverty right here. But soon we're going to be ruling the universe. Starting with the Most High, His Holy Son, and King David, and the apostles, and the prophets, and the brothers and sisters. We're, we're on the bottom now, but we're going to the top. 
and that's why they're shaking in their boots. Go on. I know your works, tribulation and poverty. And we're in tribulation. We're in poverty. We're on the bottom because they oppress us to be on the bottom. We're on the bottom of all the people of the earth. Go on. But God gave us wisdom, the wisdom and knowledge because he, he gives us this holy book, the word of God. It says, but you are rich and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews but are not. The blasphemy of those Jews that see, you see wearing the little kippas that run around and they, and they look like little demons. You see these people, man, they're devils, man. Those are the Amalaks. And they're the ones that control the United States. They control Europe. They control the banks of this earth. I mean, they're, 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 their middle name should be fraud because they're the fakes. And the rural tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi are here in the United States in the ghetto of the United States in Detroit, Cleveland, Chicago, New York, New Jersey, and throughout the United States, Oakland, South Central Los Angeles. That's the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Go on. And the other tribes are the Mexicans. Uh, that's Ishakar. And you have a lot of Mexicans that are Gadites, which are the, like the Apaches, Arapaho, Blackfeet, the Seminoles. That's the, the Seminoles of the tribe of Reuben of Florida. That whole area of Florida and Georgia and Mississippi, that's where the Seminoles, that was the firstborn son of Jacob, which is Reuben. And a lot of them were kicked out and they were pushed by the U.S. Army into Oklahoma. And from Oklahoma, they came to Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming. So there's a lot of Seminole brothers. The Seminoles, you have the Gadites, and the Mexicans, which are Ishakar. They all, all three tribes stick together like glue. And we're about to pounce on the Edomites because the time is coming to the end. And that goes into a lot of books there. Oh, the Holy Book of Obadiah, we'll, we'll bring that out. Go on. Our synagogue of Satan. Yeah, they're the synagogue of Satan. You want to know who the real demons are? People who worship Satan on the left-hand side? Amalek and Esau. They worship all the gods of the ancient cultures of Babylon, Assyria, Egypt. That's why on the dollar bill you see uh, you see the pyramids. You know, it's all with the Illuminati. But they're on the left-hand side. And they're, they're the creeps that rule the earth right now. Revelations 3 and 9. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them. They lie. I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. That's right. He's going to make all them remaining devils now and in the future, in the kingdom. Starting with Amalek, Amalek Esau, and the nations, but starting with those Zionists, the creeps that you see in uh, Israel right now and in Hollywood and all over the United States, they're going to get on their knees and they're going to kiss our feet. They're going to kiss Judah, Benjamin, Levite, Ephraim, all the way down to Israel, all the tribes. They're going to know that we're the power, the sons of the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which the tribes means Yasha Allah the sons of God, the judges, we're the world judges of this earth. We're on the bottom, we're in poverty, and we, we're in tribulation, but we have wisdom and knowledge from this holy book. And that's why we're breaking it down. We're giving you 100% truth from this holy book. As days and months and years, the coming next few years, everybody's gonna see who the sons of God are. And we're out here. The tribes, the brothers who follow the apostles. I got one more scripture. You have something? I have one more scripture here, and we're back in the Apocrypha. And it's going to be uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 17 and 18, where it says, I'm doomed, I'm doomed. Who will rescue me in those days? Troubles will come and many people will groan. Famine will come. And many will die. Wars will come. And the rural powers will tremble. Disasters will come. 
and everyone will be terrified. What will people do when these disasters come? And we're living in that time. Okay, you, can hear, you can hear an ambulance right now. And that's what it's talking. Famine. People will groan because of the many will die and the wars that will or that are coming upon this earth. A whole world war. World War III, where all the nations took sides. The United States and their allies, Russia, Iran, and China and the Middle East against America and Israel in Europe. World War III is here. Everything's coming to an end. The next few months is going to be a dark winter. So be prepared. Get right with the Most High with His Holy Name and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Repent in the ancient Hebrew name. Get, get right with His Holy Book and start to le and learn. That's the, that's the most important thing you can learn is this book and getting your house in order, your life in order. We're living in that time right now to get right with the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and forever and ever till the end of time. And double honors to the Apostle, to the Apostles, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Aramlav, Apostle Rathal, the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful. 144,000, the hopeful elect. Most high willing, we'll be here tomorrow. The water.